in your case as well as the forum owner, uh, is going to be the decision. Well, either you can bend to everybody's will, okay, everybody says that, okay, okay, and react that way and then start doing everything, uh, which is the wrong thing to do, by the way. Um, rather, it's very important to keep in mind the vision. What is your vision as the owner? Okay, where do I want to go? So in your case, now you're migrating to a form that you want to keep it simpler, uh, much more focus on discussion, etc. So you're gonna have, you're gonna be challenged. You're gonna be challenged. Some people are gonna say, "Hey, I like this section that you had in the old one. It was really valuable for me." But then the question is going to be, "Is that what 90% of people think, or just that person?" James Tramko here. Welcome back to my podcast. This is episode 977. Today we're talking about uh, my migration of my membership. Brought along John Lint from Click. Uh, KLEQ.com. Hey, John, good to see you. Good to see you. How are you? Good. I hope I'm not working you too hard with the uh, <laughs> migration <laughs> membership. Thanks for having me. It's going to be, it should be fun for people to see what we're doing. Let's talk about what this episode's about. Um, um, first, I guess I should set the scene here. Like, where are we at? at? At the time of recording this, I'm at the sort of middle junction of a big journey. I'm moving my members across from my old platform to my new platform. The old platform was a Frankenstein concoction of many, many things. You know, it had a forum membership, it had a separate cart, it had a separate communication chat bubble thing. It's all hooked up with um, email systems and stuff. And it's hosted on our own stuff. It costs a fortune to host, by the way. And it's got many, 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 many years of stuff. It's like a uh, in Australia, we have a hardware chain called Bunnings. Bunnings has 110,000 items for sale. I didn't know that. I had to Google it according to my latest Google search, right? Probably they have 111,000 by now because that was yesterday. So I had a lot of stuff, but I went from, you know, people asking what do I get to saying, oh, there's so much stuff I'm overloaded and it's become heavy. Now, in the previous iterations of moving uh, my memberships, I mean, I've already been through three or four platforms since 2008. And nine, but even before that, 2006, just platform to platform to platform over years. But I've been with the last platform for a very, very long time. I'm super loyal until it no longer works. And um, up until now, I've been able to migrate the old stuff into the new one. This time I couldn't. Okay. So that's what's happening at the moment. So I got to the point where each time I look at starting fresh, I'm like, wow, oh, there's such a sunk cost of all the stuff I had. But what's happened now um, in terms of my members, the, the players involved here, who's involved are the, the core members are really the more medium to high level members, my partners, my legacy Silver Circle members, the higher level program members of my community are really where the juice of what I do is. They don't need all the content. They don't need as much content. What they need is me. They need contact with each other. And so that connection is important. So really what's at stake is I wanted to, to bring them into the new environment and declutter, to use it as a chance to, it's like instead of renovating the house, we're basically purchased land elsewhere and we're moving into a new facility. That's what's at stake. So what does it feel like? It's, it's a big job, you know, like I've got my little team there helping me. I've got me thinking about this. I have written my plan down several times this year. You know, this is not a like a think about it today, do it tomorrow thing. I mean, first wrestle was what do I call it? We've resolved that. We've moved everything into my personal brand. We've gone out and we've reclaimed our social properties from the old brand to the new brand, which was a huge win. Yeah. So then I'm like, what do I take? And I'm sure everyone is sitting up on the fence saying, oh, what's he going to do? He's always talking about memberships. He's always talking about click. How is he going to approach this? This is This is something that is coming up. And what I did is first is I'll sort of share what's happened in this journey to date. But I imagine you're probably even getting some people asking what's happening. Yeah, for sure. I like, think we talked about it in a recent podcast. And of course, we've been talking about it for a while. Um, you've been talking about changing for a while. And of course, there's so much things for you to consider because you probably have one of you know, one of the oldest online businesses out there. You know, you've been doing this for a long time. So you have a lot of content and it's very hard for you to decide, well, what do I let go? What do I migrate? What's worth uh, my time? So yeah, we've been working at it for a while. And yeah, of course, a lot of people are very curious, especially members um, of Click, to know 
what you're going to be doing next and uh, how, especially how you're going to be setting up, you know, your members area and the funnels and all that. So that's something that, you know, I look forward to talk about whenever you're ready because uh, things are going to help a lot of people as well. Well, we've talked about it a lot in the background and the biggest challenge is how do I take so much stuff? And, and the real situation here is I'm moving from a six bedroom home <laughs> to a two bedroom unit in, in sort of, size comparison I'm, I'm wanting to downsize my membership and keep it really focused on the core and so to explain that better i better explain how i've set it up because this is sort of this is going to explain it um, first i'll tell you what was in the old one in the old one was it was basically forum based and i was loading my products into the forum and i'd been able to hack the forum in many ways over the years to, to, to have a dashboard to give me a private section where I could coach people. I've been doing it for about seven or eight years, I think, the private coaching, way too long for some. <laughs> anyway, you, you and I had that first discussion is, hey, I, I think you're using the forum differently than the way it's supposed to be used. And I got it, but I didn't really know where I'm going to put all my information products but keep it harmonious. So click solve the first problem. I can now have my products in a, in a portal and I can also have a forum. I do like the forum because I like to log in. I like to see conversations. I want people to connect with each other. Yeah. And I want them course. to be able to discuss. And as much as people love their social media platforms, we still need a walled off safe space where we can have great discussions. And I think in the previous episode, we talked about how to combine these things. Uh, so what I've ended up with is I've gone from having all the products and all the forum and, and the, the thing all sort of chucked into a forum i've split them out now i've split them out into four sections or three sections depending on which membership level i want to just be clear here at the moment to the public there'll be two levels uh, to start with where people are coming in the first level is called connect and that is a uh, very affordable i think it's sub 100 dollars per month we're talking us dollars here you get the members forum so you get all the other members talking with each other and that grows over time. Now, instead of starting with 150 or 200,000 posts, we've started with none. And what I've done is, and, and this is where it's re been really helpful to have a lot of established data. I went into my old community and I looked at what are the most popular sections, the ones that work the best. And I replicated those and only those and I left the rest. Now, what I'll do as people come in and they'll say, oh, what about this? Can we do this? And then I might consider, and I want to talk to, this is such a big topic. I'm going to consider whether, is that valid? That's the first filter. Could, knowing what I know, is that actually what they want or do they not even know what they want? And you're faced with this as the technology developer, right? People ask for things sometimes that they should never have. They shouldn't be allowed to do it, right? So that's possible. But maybe it's a great idea and we should have it, so I'll consider putting it back. Especially if we had it, I'm more likely to bring it back. Just to touch on this, just for people to, uh, I don't want people to have the wrong, uh, wrong impression. Uh, of course, every feedback is valued. Every, every opinion is valued. But as an owner of a product or software development, or in your case as well, as the forum owner, uh, it's going to be the decision. Well, Either you can bend to everybody's will, okay, everybody says that, okay, okay, and react that way and then start doing everything, uh, which is the wrong thing to do, by the way. Um, rather, it's very important to keep in mind the vision. What is your vision as the owner? Okay, where do I want to go? So in your case, now you're migrating to a form that you want to keep it simpler, uh, much more focused on discussion, etc. So you're gonna have, you're gonna be challenged. You're gonna be challenged. Some people are gonna say, "Hey, I like this section that you had in the old one. It was really valuable for me." But then the question is going to be, "Is that what 90% of people think, or just that person?" And yes, it does mean that some people are not gonna be happy. But obviously, the, the the goal is to have most people happy. Make sure that the vision is respected, and then the goal of what you want to do with your product, uh, you're going to that goal and you, you're, not, you're not deviating too much. Otherwise, what happens, whether it's in software or in membership sites, that you end up with a Frankenstein. You end up with something that does almost everything, but actually the reality is that you do almost everything badly rather than doing what you really wanted to do really, really well. And people really love you for that. So, and obviously I'm, I'm challenged with that every single day uh, because as you can imagine, with all the members that we have, a lot of people have great opinion, great ideas, and it's great. We keep them in the back pocket, 
but whenever I decide what I'm go we're going to do next is, is this going to help the vast majority of people? Is this something that is going to make what we want to do better? Like, for example, you were telling me about some feedback about now that you're using the forum, you have some great ideas about the forum, things that you used to do before. Am I going to say yes to everything? No, I'm not going to say yes to everything, but I'm going to listen. And I'm going to think, okay, well, yeah, that's a valuable thing. And yeah, that makes sense. And oh, we don't have that. And yeah, that's a good thing to add. Let's do it, you know? Anyway, just a little uh, intermission here. Yeah, no, it's, it's totally on point because I'm going to be faced with this as the community. You know, can we do this? Can we do that? There'll be things that we can do with the current platform. There'll be things that people ask for that the platform doesn't do now. And then I come to you and say, what about this? And as a, as a couple, firstly, I try and be a first line of defense. I think, do we actually even want that? Is that useful for anyone else except for this person? Because I'll tell you what it usually comes down to, because I'm facing this a lot right now. It's comfort. We get comfortable the way things work. That could keep me in the old platform forever, but I'm just going to get too far apart. You know, I've already had enough encouragement from the test users like, oh, my God, the usability and the layout of this is light years ahead of where you're at. So that's very encouraging. I'll take that, even if it's less comfortable for me to have to change. So what I'm doing at the moment, every time I go to do something I did before and I notice it's different, we talk about it. And you'll either say, you know what, I think we can make it do that. That makes sense and I think other people would like that. Or you might say, you know what, technically that's very difficult to do because of this reason or that reason. And For example, some of the things on the app are not possible that used to be possible on a desktop version and we're getting more app driven and it just doesn't make sense to to need that feature anymore so you just you just say we're not you know what don't worry about that feature anymore it's just not practical and then there's some things that will end up going into a push update down the track uh, so that's it and I know a lot of what you've done was modeled around the way that I was using the platform work. So you were trying to make the dream solution for me and I'm now saying, okay, here I am. <laughs> let's <laughs> let's roll yeah. out. Like I've got one leg in both memberships at the moment. So the, the current status is I've got dozens of members in there thrashing it, telling me what they've known. They've found some of my own errors. Like, you know, I've, it says username instead of their name. So I just delete that off. Keeping me busy. Like I wanted to go surfing and now I need to work. Like, yeah, well, that's what, it. I'm, st I'm still surfing just quietly, but my team are getting more involved and more active. There's a lot more happening. We've set up some of the carts and we're, we're bringing some members into the new membership directly. So some people will only come into the new membership and that's all they'll see. All the legacy members are seeing both memberships. So as we tip them all in, as we're recording this, we're tipping people in. We're just saying, you know what, here's access to the new membership and you can still have access to the old membership while we're choosing what to bring across. And as they ask me or guide me, then I'll bring that stuff across. And what I do when I when I do that, this is my process, I turn off the old discussion and I just post this, this is now in the new community and I turn off the old one. So I stop people adding stuff. I don't want people adding stuff and keep using it when it's no longer current. And what I think is happening because the usability is so much better in the new platform, because we have the great app, because we have push notifications, and because it's more beautiful to look at. And because we're custom building it together. And that's the beautiful beautiful part as well. And that's that's something very important for our community, which is you, your community is kind of my community as well. We're all the same type of people. So, and that's part, we're all part of the building process of making it better and better and better. And that's how we grew Click. And that's how we are going to continue to grow. Thanks to your feedback. Thanks to your members' feedback. And the goal is, when we are going back to our vision and goal is to pretty much make it the best platform for what you and I want to do uh, I wanna, online. I want to make it, you know, uh, here I am and I want the most basically up-to-date, present community possible to help me serve. I want maximum impact for my clients. That's what I want. So we still have the forum. So people who are used to the forum can still have the forum. They can still discuss it. And I've taken the very best topics, the most frequent ones, and put them. What I haven't done is had such a concertina of so many topics because we're not as forum heavy anymore. So it's much lighter, much lighter. The second feature a Connect member will get access to are the playbooks. And what I've done there is I've taken my personal life sheet, I've taken the frameworks and checklists from Silver Circle, the highest level program I had, 
and I've taken the checklists and frameworks from the old super fast business community and I've also taken summaries from trainings and turned them into short things or some of the very long developed threads that in the old community and condense them into the minimum possible piece of content and make a playbook from it. Some of them are not visible as we're recording this, so if, uh, but, but by the time this comes out, there'll be heaps of them. And we number them and they're basically you go to the playbook, you can basically follow that playbook. It's like a recipe. And you can get a repeatable result using that playbook. And there's a comment section under each playbook so that if people like the playbook, they can say, oh, this is fantastic. This is amazing. That's what I'm getting in the moment. <laughs> there's a little love heart. You can make a love heart and say, I love it. Yeah. Yeah, or yeah. you can ask a question. You can say, oh, I didn't follow number, you know, step number seven or whatever. I, could you just explain that? I haven't had that yet because they're so concise and so easy to follow. But my dream there is to take everything that I know and put it into the shortest possible format that will get someone a result. So playbooks are like the training you wish you had instead of having to go through. So this is the counter to people who say, you'll get this and you'll get that and you'll get this and you'll get those and you'll get this 17 things and these 37 things and 100 gigabytes of downloads. And instead, it's like, you know what? You'll just get the exact thing to do, nothing more, and you do it and you'll get the result. That's the dream for the playbooks. Yeah, and I love it. What I love what you did is like the, the the ultimate shortcuts, like those one page cheat sheets where everything that you know about different topics and different strategies, boom! I just go to one page and I get in the result I want. I follow the list and uh, I I get the result I want. So it's it's pretty awesome, and I love what your team has done. So yeah, looking forward to um, getting more playbooks. Really, they're, they're coming. I like all those books on the back wall. You know, I've been collecting them since I was twelve years old. So that's almost forty years. I've been reading books, implementing them, studying, learning, understanding what goes on in business, getting results, having conversations, like thousands of conversations. It's all getting strained into these playbooks. That alone, I think, plus the forum is a good combo, but that's not all you get as a Connect member. And by this is sub $100 a month at the moment. The other section is the training section. And that's for the people who, you know, they're kind of content obsessed or whatever. They That has like, 70 or 80 trainings I did, full like, you know, autoresponder follow-ups, all that sort of stuff. It's all in there. Every all the trainings from the old community have been put in there. They're all in there. All of the event recordings, they're all in there. And I still run a monthly training and ask me anything or some kind of topic. We run every single month and record it and put it in there. And my goal, the sunset program for this, is I want to go through my old trainings. And I want to make a playbook from them and then delete the old training. You know, the playbook replaces the trainings over time. They'll eat themselves, right? That would be the goal. That would be my desire to have the least possible. If I could get rid of the trainings eventually with, with the playbooks, that's going to happen. But I still do a training each month. So I think the trainings are actually quite valuable for those who want, uh, you know, more in-depth details. Um, like I'm a detail guy, you know, like um, you give me a step and it might be like, do that. Then I'm going to start thinking, oh, let's say, let's say I struggle. I'm going to start thinking about, well, how, or how did you do it? Did you do that? So I think this is still very valuable. And I love what you did uh, with all your events and your big, your, because you had some big, long type, of, not long, but like a very in-depth type of trainings, which which are good, which are great. And it's good to have them there, like the list building and, and all the different traffic stuff, whatever, or all the different strategies that we can use for our online business. So I think that's still very relevant. And I think the playbooks are different in a sense that they are the shortcuts. It's like, let's say you go through the training, you get the concept, you know now, let's say how to build your list and what the things. Now, okay, you went through the training. Well, you can also get a playbook that is maybe specific like uh, X things about a good uh, lead magnet. Okay, well, I'm going to use that cheat sheet, that playbook, boom, I can quickly follow that. And, and so I think that complimentary and it's great to have your events and, and any future things that you might do as well. Your call recording, extremely valuable. You're doing group calls. I mean, that's insane. If you get, you get, you get community, shortcuts, training, events, uh, live Q&A, I mean, that's all you need really. That's it, except if you're a mentor member, you get the sounding board, right? Yes, yes. I've moved away from the word coach, even though I, I guess I coach people. I don't, I don't know. I don't love the term for whatever reason. I, I like to have clients. I like to be a partner. 
I like mentoring people the most. I like seeing that growth and and a mentor to some extent needs to have actual experience and I feel like I do have that for the people I'm helping. So the the one thing that kept coming out when I kept, when I went to my highest level members and I say or even my partners I'm like what is it that I bring to the table for you? You know, you're someone that I can actually have a proper conversation with. You you're not my you're not my husband or wife. You're not, you're not my best friend or my f- friend who goes fishing with. You're not some guy I went to school with. You you actually know about this stuff. And so I feel like I can have a proper conversation. You understand what I'm talking about. You can show me points of view or give me some confidence. And um, I feel like that that sounding board is what I need right now. And in confidence, this is very important, total confidence and fully customized. So it's not some cut and paste, punch people through the system. Like I listen to the person, I find out what's going on. I match it with everything I know from all the conversations I've had, every, everything that I know about and everything I've seen. And then I help them out with some suggestions on where we might go next or, or guide them through that. Not like some life coach who doesn't really know the answer, but they only know to say, and how does that make you feel? And what do you think you should do? The ultimate stupid one is, if you knew the answer, John, what do you think the answer would be? Yeah. I mean, so it's not Such that. Such a cop out. It is. It's a, cop out. it's a bit of bullshit. The sounding board is legit. Yeah. So again, I've consolidated stuff. I had a funny thing with the team yesterday. They sent me this. I used to have in the old community a welcome video and all the instructions and how the calls are going to work and then I had a separate welcome for the, the private chat or whatever. I condensed it. I've Basically, the sounding board is so similar. I'm going to click, click on it now. The Connect members can't see this, but the mentor members can. It just says... Come to our weekly group calls. It's got the time and the link. And then it says, in the meantime, let's chat. And it's a chat button. Now, if you can use Facebook or Instagram or whatever, uh, or even email, then you can use a chat button. And yeah. the best thing, it works on the phone. When someone leaves me a message, it pops a bubble up and I answer it. It accepts images. I can embed Loom videos. Uh, so it's fully functional. It's giving me everything I needed from the private coaching before, but it's now its own product. And I think for those members, the weekly group call and the ability to talk to me is more interesting to them than the content. And that's what that's what those people want. So this is the level I've put my partners on and my old Silver Circle members and the mentor levels now, which used to be called intensive. They're all in, in this. So in short, there's only four boxes when you log into my membership. Yeah. Members forum, sounding board, playbooks, and training. So if you want to know what I did in my membership and you're not a member, that's what I did. If you really want to see for yourself, then uh, I'll ask the team to put a screenshot where this post is, uh, which is episode 977. And we're talking about the migration that I had between my old community and the new one. In terms of other things that we're doing, I've, I do have a migration plan. It's what I've been talking about uh, with my team in the, the team meetings. So I'm just going to pull that up because... You have to plan this stuff. You can't just tell the team, hey, we're just going to, we're going over there tomorrow. <laughs> it's like there's more thought involved. So we've we've had to just have an inventory of all the tools we use and then plan to sunset them or make them obsolete. So we're getting rid of intercom. We're getting rid of the old cart switches over to the cart that's in the platform. We want people to be tied to the platform with the cart eventually because if they stop paying, then they stop getting access they want to rejoin it. Reckon it's all. And you get your data, the reporting, all of that. I want that, and the same is also I want the sales pathway. So I'll put the new page on that platform as well, so I can log into the dashboard and see how many people visited the page, how many people became a member. I want all that information. Yeah, we can't have it overnight because I got so. I mean, just to give quantity here, we're talking about three or four hundred people. We're doing the conversations one by one, though. We're we're literally going out one by one and saying, "Hey, you, we've added you to the new community." And then what we're going to do is when there's a billing event, if they're annual, we'll bring them across to the new cart. If they're changing their credit card, we bring them across to the new cart. And eventually we might be able to just have a sort of a more bulk event. We say, hey, we're moving to the new cart. Could you go over here and rejoin? And then we'll stop the old subscription. We might do that, but it's it's probably not worth it. The loss of members in that event would be substantial i suspect where it's like because people will question well, do i really need this uh whatever hopefully they wouldn't but you don't want to basically upset the apple cart too much unnecessarily so sometimes in order to get super organized and clean we can overcook it so we're just doing this gradually so we're 
we've replicated. I'm basically doing a new sales offer because I feel like the new, the new offer is more about the sounding board and the playbooks than the old offer, which was a lot about the content. And so I'm tuning the words on the page. I'm making it simpler and easier to understand. Like every aspect of this, the usability is strong. We are bringing across people from different groups, the smaller groups first, like all the partners have already got access. The Silver Circle members have come across today. The intensive members become mentor members. And then last, we'll go for the the uh, the standard members who are now becoming connect members. And then you know, we communicate with people all the way through. They'll basically have access to both. And then over time, we're bringing this stuff across and closing it down and then there'll be a sort of a, a period, hey, this is when we're going to turn off the old membership. So we're, we're fully all in now. If you need anything from the old place, go get it. Otherwise, it's, it's going to be not available to you. If you need it after that, tell me and I'll go and get it. We'll keep an archive version of it, of course, and we'll bump down our server to a low setting because it doesn't have to be fast or, or whatever anymore. I won't, won't be spending $1,100 a month to keep it up. <laughs> <laughs> and then for all new people coming in from about now, they are all seeing the new site only. So they'll get a new experience. So it'll be just clean and simple. They won't be distracted with the old names and the, the old card or the old anything. So um, I guess this is the point where I say to everyone who has been a member and has stuck with me for all this time, thanks for putting up with this. You know, it's like, this is actually the hardest thing of anything. I've, I've changed names before. I've switched channels before. I've um, sold businesses before. But this is the most difficult because I have the most amount. of. I've literally got over 10 years worth of stuff and I have to make choices and I've got to do things. And so it's not comfortable. It's not comfortable. But I'm actually so excited about the opportunity to start fresh. I'll, I'll give you one more little story. When I got my latest laptop, I just basically, I plug it in and then I just hook up the cloud things. I never, ever export a backup of the old one and import it onto the new one. I don't do that. I used to do it five or six years ago, but you always bring crap across. You always bring junk. You bring bits and pieces you don't want. Yes. Starting fresh is underrated. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's a tweetable. Uh, so in the migration uh, Anthony Robbins says things happen for us, you know, not to us. Mm -hmm. Basically, the inability for me to just hit a button and import everything is a blessing. And I know why you've done that because you're keeping this environment clean and fresh and you're not, not making difficulties that are going to break the thing. It's like here's our environment, make it what you want. Mm -hmm. And I just had a phone call with a lady in She's at the early foundational stages of her business and she's not tech savvy. She doesn't really know how to drive traffic. She's got a sense of who she's working with. She's already got some clients and she's got a one-time six-week product. And she says, what, what do I do now? And I said, do the people in the six-week product say, I wish we could stay longer? She said, yes. <laughs> and I said, okay, well then go to click.com, <laughs> K-L-E-Q.com, join, get access to the software Follow the templates on the sales page. Put an amount you want to sell for a monthly membership. Create a member's community. And then you're in business like tomorrow. Yeah. It sounds too simple. I said, well, it is that simple. It literally is. Like it's harder for me with all my experience and all my content than it is for her because she's starting clean. So yeah, for if you're sure. at the early stages, you're lucky because it's so just start. Just start and get it, get it right. Just follow the training. For the training, if you have any questions, show up to the weekly calls that I do every single week. John will help you. Just turn up to the calls. And, and set things up. And then, of course, the key with any online business to do our very best to provide value to our audience so we can attract them, we can convert them into subscribers, and then ultimately we can convert them into uh, paid members. And um, that's the focus. But everything else, that's our goal, that's our mission, is to make it as easy as possible so that you set up everything that you need, whether you need a blog, a website, uh, your home pages, your sales funnels, your shopping cart, your members area, having communities in there, like you're doing with the forum. Or if you want to go smaller, you can have private groups with social walls. Uh, you want to do private coaching like James does. You want to create content and create courses, then you can do all that. Uh, and then once it's done, then worry about the important stuff, which is 
getting good stuff in your uh, online business, publish good content, because at the end of the day, that's what an online business is. It's about publishing good content that's going to attract people to us. Uh, and then hopefully it is going to um, motivate them to take the next step and become a paid subscriber or paid uh, customer. You know what the coolest thing is, John? I was thinking about this. You've spent a lot of time building this incredible platform and you've got all this cool stuff. And I'm not using a fraction of the features that I can use later. I'm excited to get to the point where I can turn on the book funnel that will integrate with my new membership. I could do an on-demand training or I could... Uh, there's lots of features you've got, lots of boosters. The automation, the segmentation stuff, all of this. And, uh... So I was thinking about my new sales page. Why, why don't I just make two versions of it and use the split testing feature? Right. I'm right, excited right, right. to use this stuff. But at the moment, I'm just thrashing you to death with all these things you haven't got. That's uh, okay. You know, just <laughs> little – I mean, it's, it's dumb. Like we could, can we joke about one of them? One, I asked if you could turn the love heart from blue to red, right? It's just a little thing, but I'm like – why isn't this love heart red? Hearts are red. Everyone knows hearts are red. Right? Well, if you like it red. Well, we made it We made it red. He made it red. And all John had to do is completely rewrite the whole thing and then push out a new code to <laughs> nah, the platform. Really. Like, I, I mean, I'm sorry, but not sorry. It's going to be so good. That's the thing. Anyone considering the platform, please know that I am pushing it hard. And basically, it's what you need, even if you don't know you need it. And even if you think you want something else, you probably don't. Right. That's that's the point. That's a big difference between our platform and the other platform. And that's how we've grown. I mean, we have like people ask me, how long have you been doing this? Like, um, because they might not know about Click. And I've been building this platform since probably, probably since I started online, really doing things online. Why? Because it started by me not wanting to create HTML pages each time I wanted to set up a opt-in page or sales page. So I hired the developers to build a tool that would allow me to do that. We were actually the first funnel builder out there. And we're talking 2007, 2008, uh, early times. And then it grew. That's why I'm excited because now you are focused a lot in forum, all of that, which is, we, we act, like you said at the beginning, we actually built it for you. And now that you're using it more, it's going to get only better and better, which is great because that's how we've done it with everything. Like, okay, we wanted to have amazing funnels to be able to set up amazing. We wanted to do launches. We wanted to do webinars. We wanted to do segmentation uh, later and people do quizzes and stuff. All of that came by working one-on-one with key members uh, that were experts in their fields uh, and say, okay, what are the core features that we need to be able to do that. Like, uh, what do we need to do uh, to have an amazing uh, quiz funnel or an amazing book funnel or an amazing automation funnel? What are the things that we should do with our emailing system so we can do these extra automations and follow up? Okay, well, that's what we need to do. Let's build it. And we did build it. Uh, and um, now we're, uh, we're, we have done that as well with the members there. We've done that with the four and we're going to keep on doing that. Uh, and it's going to be awesome. And, and the best thing is, you know, like such a good chunk of my own audience are using the platform. So I'd say a dozen of the testers who are in there now uh, who have been posting, I opened up a test thread. I said, look, you find something, you you notice something, you like something, you want something, tell me. They're so switched on. They're so savvy. They're taking screenshots. They're telling me this, that, little things. So I've got all these amazing people. Like We all have a stake in this being a great platform. Now, this is the part where I say, If you're not a member of my community or if you used to be a member of the old community, like, I don't know, way back when it was super fast results in 2009 or fast web formula in 2005, uh, sorry, 2014, or if it was super fast business up until uh, 2021, you know, come and check it out. It's going to cost you, I think, $99 to sniff around it or if you want to go on the next level. A little bit more than that, but it's certainly worth it if you have an online business and you want a bit of help. Come and see how we're using it and interact with the other people who use it and use that as a catalyst. But I'm so excited. I'm like the, literally the most excited I've ever been in my online journey. <laughs> as, we, as we're rolling it out, it's like, it's like a new beginning. That's right. That's exactly right. You know, the if you were to go back to, in a time machine and tell yourself in the past, or it's like, if you were to start again, knowing everything you know, what would you do? Like I'm doing that with my own business. I'm like, I'm starting fresh with all the stuff I know, but with the same customers I have and all the information. And now we're just doing it right. So thanks for being a part of that. And that's also very important is that 
we are building the tool so that it can do everything that we want to do. Like I wanted to have all the funnels that I, I, I wanted to have for to sell my online products. I wanted to be able to have a forum or a community so I can do that. So that's the focus. So we're building all this and uh, we're building, building it together. And um, I think that's a big difference compared to someone else who's just talking about the latest gimmicky platform out there just because he's actually promoting it. But he's not really heavily using it and being heavily invested. I am. So um, I think that's important as well for people to know. Well, it's important too that people know in the beginning of 2020, I started using the platform. I tested the platform in a, in a new way. I proved that you can start a membership with zero content. I proved that you can start a low ticket membership and have a good little income that could pay a car payment or a rent. I tried it in a B2B market as well. So I flexed it in a different way and that was good, but I didn't like that market as it turns out. Too many scars, too many scars. <laughs> too traumatic. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> but now I'm thrilled to be able to, to get past that whole hassle of having to change. It's been a huge buildup but we're there now and I'm so thrilled we're there and it's it's awesome. Check out the software we're talking about. It's click, uh, kleq.com. John Lintz, the man behind the machine there, and he turns up to training every week for, for those members and I appreciate you providing this platform for, for me to be able to grow my business and manage it from my phone. If you want James in your pocket on the app, then, then get the platform. Just some of the some of the stuff is just so cool. Like it notifies you when there's something for you, but if you don't respond to it, I think three times a day it just goes and checks and it'll send you a little email. Just say hey, a little email reminder. Yeah, you got some messages, but it doesn't pester you too much. You know, like it's it's just a nice balance. So a lot of thoughts gone into it. It's an incredible platform. And uh, John, I hope I will have you back and talk about how things are going further down the track in this epic saga of. <laughs> of James's website migration. Uh, and I also at this point should thank my team for taking this on. I mean, it, it is an easy platform to use, but it's not easy when you've got so much stuff. Like they might be great removalists, but I've got a lot of stuff in the house to pack and move. So like always, it's worth it when you get there and set up. And so exciting times. I think 2023 will be a fascinating year to document as we continue through. So good one. Thank you very much. This is James Schramko.